Hello, this is Mark. Just going to go ahead and just have a brief demonstration video on how to post to the website and to Facebook for our industry news. Uh, what I find very helpful here is that you actually open up uh, three different windows on your browser. First one being our website, teampoaa.org. Put in your credentials. Log in. Second one is Facebook. As you can see, I'm already logged into my personal Facebook, but you want to click on this little tab over here and let's go to the uh, the association page. Third one is Feedly. Uh, as you can see, it's feedly.com. I'm going to click on existing users and we're going to. Uh, I am going to connect with Facebook. Uh, for those who are helping me out, I sent you the credentials for you to log in. Just to go over Feedly real quick, or uh, Feedly. Feedly is a news aggregator. Basically, it goes ahead and it grabs news stories from uh, predetermined searches that I put out there. For example, um, for our competition, put up uh, Bimbo for... Uh, Keebler, Nabisco, Kellogg's, Mondelez. And what is going to happen, it's going to find all Google stories which those, which has those search parameters. Likewise, I have the accounts as well. Tops, Acme, Festival Food, Giant, HEB, Hannaford, Walmart, Target, Kroger. list goes on and on. Um, this one down here supermarket news what we find from a lot of supermarket news is articles that are from overseas even though they will have uh, some articles from the states as you can see I have 353 articles that I could go through I just went went through this yesterday so uh, this populates pretty quick also has uh, uncategorized one as well but let's go ahead here real quick and let's take a look at our uh, Keebler, see what's going on with Keebler. As you can see here, uh, it goes through Google and it just searches for the word Keebler. And if Keebler is in there, it will bring up a story. So even though I have all of these articles, we are definitely not going to be going through all of them. So... We're just going to scroll down here as yesterday and today. So nothing here really seemed to uh, pique our interest. We're just going to click on Mark. Mark is red. Perfect. If we want to do on Bimbo, of course Bimbo also translates as Bimbo. And a lot of times we'll get articles that really just don't pertain it's a word uh, bimbo used in a derogatory statement. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, as I showed you down here earlier, that you can just go through and then click Mark is Red. Or you can just go up on the top here and click on the check mark, and then I'll ask you if you want to uh, go ahead and make sure that you can confirm that you marked all those. So let's go in here and let's see if we can find a good article. One thing that you'll notice, uh, let's take a look here. Another Kroger rival getting into the meal kit. So once we bring up the story, we want to go ahead and actually visit the website. And... One thing you'll have to be cognitive of is just the fact that what is already posted, so we're not posting articles that have already been posted a day or two ago. Because sometimes uh, news articles will actually go through and it'll take about a week. But by the time all the news organizations pick up the story and then print it. Now, as we can see right here with this one, it's asking us to subscribe that this is basically a subscription service we do not want to uh, bother with that so we're just going to 
go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go back to another one. Here we go. This is from uh, Roundies. Going to close a couple stores. And so if we click on the website, and this is where it gets really simple. Once we find the article, just going to go up here, right click, copy. Let's go to our website first. Gonna click on industry news. Gonna click on add a post. Let me see if I can make that bigger. There we go. So go down to the URL, right click, paste, and there's our redirect to the website. And the only thing that we really need to fill out is just the uh, title here. So roundies to close stores. That is pretty much it, except for the most important part. We aren't going to bother typing anything in, in the body. But to get something to post on the website, we just need to press save. Now once we uh, press the save, you can see that we have the source here. And if we go back to industry news, there's our story. So if they would just click on that, we can do that real quick. Just gonna bring up a, open a new screen and there we go. Facebook. Facebook is probably just as easy. Uh, a couple ways to do it with Facebook. Uh, one is basically you can just go down here and paste it and click publish. This will post it immediately. So let's do that. But usually I don't do that because what I try to do is I try to space out our postings. Um, usually what I do is I just go ahead and let me just refresh Facebook. Uh, usually I like the postings to start at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I will post usually at 1, 2, 3, and 4 p.m. I uh, need to remember that on Mondays I have uh, Munchy Monday, which I usually go ahead and have that already set to post at 1 o'clock, one of our food articles. Wing It Wednesday, same thing, 1 o'clock. And then uh, Flashback Friday, which I believe is all set up through the month of August. So, again, uh, so I'm back on Facebook. As I already demonstrated, you can just right-click, paste, and then hit, click Publish. But we're going to go down to something just a little bit further. Right down here, you'll see 27 Scheduled Post. Uh, scroll down. I currently have 27 posts. Once we click on that, we'll see that the schedule is here on the right-hand side. Today's the 16th, so I have one more at 4. Uh, tomorrow I have one, two, three, and four. So basically, right now I want to post to the 18th. So that's simple enough to do. Just click, click on create. Oops. Let me get this again. Right click, paste. Now, when you want to go ahead and schedule it, we just press on schedule. Now, what you'll notice sometimes, not exactly in this example, but uh, some news stories will give multiple images. We only want to choose one. So you would just highlight it to choose the image that you want. Uh, so we'll hit schedule. And I said that we want to go ahead and go on the 18th. And we're just going to change the time here to 1 p.m. 
and there we go it shows that it, it's on the 18th if you want to put put it back into uh, sequential order just refresh your screen and you should be all set that will conclude uh, this demonstration look forward to a few more that I want to show you with the actual website. Talk to you soon.